This video describes how to find background information on a topic using the Credo Reference Database. Once you're logged into Credo, type in one or two keywords about your research topic. I'm going to start broad with a search for anxiety. Notice the auto-suggestion feature bringing up some narrower topics, like social anxiety disorder or performance anxiety. Use these to help narrow down a broad topic, or click on a suggestion to find information about that topic. Searching just anxiety brings up a topic page. It starts with an introductory entry, this one is from the Encyclopedia of Health Communication, that you can read for a quick overview. Under the intro entry, you'll find a lot more articles, usually from specialized dictionaries and encyclopedias. There's a lot here, so you might want to try using some filters. Try filtering the type to reference and the date to 2016 to 2020. To read any of these articles, click on the title and scroll down to read. Our next video will cover how to work with the user features at the top. Let's cover the last couple features on the topic page. Somewhere at the top, you'll see what's called a mind map. Our search term is in the middle, with related and narrower search terms all around it. Like the auto search suggestions, these can help us narrow down a broad topic. And if we click on a term in the mind map, the search results update to give us information about that topic. Notice that you can pop out the mind map or download it as a PDF if you want to save it for later. The last thing to cover is the list of more library resources somewhere on the side of the topic page. These links go to additional sources about this topic in our other databases. Click See All Results to search that specific database for the same topic. Credo Reference is helpful in so many ways. Use the mind map to help narrow down a topic and explore how topics are related. Read the articles as research sources to understand your topic better. Use the links to more library resources to find additional information and go deeper into your topic. If you have questions about using Credo Reference, contact a librarian.